Hey everyone, welcome to OCG World. Um, today I would like to talk about uh, my suggestions or views on uh, how to toilet train your autistic child. Um, you know, every parent probably have their own ways. Like I said to you before, um, best off, you know, go to the seminars for all this. Um, you can learn a lot from them, uh, like I did. And uh, so, how we uh, learned and how we uh, tackle this, um, you know, from the health professionals and all, all them type of people, you know, well, that were involved with us. Um, so, firstly, my son would never ever sit on the toilet, normal toilet or his, uh, his uh, child toilet. He wouldn't know way. Then slowly, slowly, um, somehow, he would just sit and think, yeah, it's just for fun. Um, but then what we learned was, uh, well not learned, but what we were told to get him more interested in the toilet was whenever he does his toilet in his nappy and everything, just to take him to the toilet, especially if he's done poo, and show him, put the poo in the toilet and make him flush it. So, he, you know, you, you think it's exciting. You know, especially when you flush the toilet, the kids do get a bit excited. Oh, like, look where it's gone! Um, so just slowly, slowly start doing that. Um, the you know they might just find it a bit you know enjoyment. As slowly, slowly they get used to it. That like, all right, the two the poo's gonna go in the toilet. You flush, and then stay in there. Like if he's doing weird anything, just take him to the toilet, take his nappy off there, and just put it in the bin. You know, at least basically just for him to feel comfortable in the toilet. And once you've uh, mastered that out, then you should have no problem doing that. And after that, just do what you do with a normal child. You know, you take him to the toilet, let him sit down, you know, after well, 15, 20 minutes when he's had a drink or, you know, he's eating everything every 10, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Just keep taking him to the toilet. doesn't matter if he doesn't do it. Um, just try uh, and hopefully he hopefully I would say is hopefully he will do it if he doesn't but don't worry you know if he like get stressed and this out no problem just take him out you know like I say you've got to go on on his agenda you know on this time so if he does I know you are gonna get fed up on this and that yeah but and they this is the only way you can do it that I know the way we did it just keep practicing Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Be strong. If he gives up, don't worry. Start from the bottom again and try again. And um, just keep doing it. And then slowly, he'll end up doing toilet. You know, like sometimes with us, if we went toilet, we did whatever, and he come in. Then he, you know, for him, at least he would look think, all oh, right, they're doing their toilet here. And what we used to do uh, when we actually got him to sit on the toilet and everything. We used to like play a game with him. We used to have like dinner races. So he's because because with him he used to always want to be first. He used to be he wants to be the champion. So we just thought let's play a game with him. So with him we used to say right every 10, 15 minutes right it's my come on let's go. You know who's gonna win me or you? And then he would just quickly go running. And by the time I were to get he's already done it. And you know it was we were like wow. Um, but sometimes when we didn't do it, he would, you know, just do it in his clothes or whatever. You know, just say, oh, I don't know what happened and everything. But like I said, this is from my point of view. You know, everyone's going to have their own way because you know your child best. No one else knows. But I would say just, you know, always think of someone in these kind of situations. We have to be a detective. You know, we know our child best. Just try to do as best as you can. If a health professional tells you to do it such a way, by all means, try it. You know, I'm just trying to help people what we've been through. So try if you want to do it that we've done it. Or do it however you think you can do it. It's a lot of headache because there are going to be some times where they will do it in the toilet. Sometimes they might do it in their, you know, in their own uh, clothes or somewhere. Or in the nappy if they still got the pull-ups and everything. Um, but just try what you think is best, you know. If they totally refuse, then don't worry. Like I said, you just, oh, it's the main thing for this is slowly but surely. If you do it slowly and it doesn't happen, doesn't matter. You restart again. You know, just give your best and, we'll, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay, don't worry. I will be making more uh, videos, but so... 
just like share and subscribe to my youtube channel ocg world if you want to comment by all means comment i am not a professional i'm just giving you my points of view and basically my suggestion just to help yourselves